Good evening everybody. Today we will discuss about the calculation of random factor with respect to degree of association or degree of dissociation. In the previous class we studied about the abnormal molar mass with respect to uh, the determination of uh, colligative properties. And also studied the causes uh, of abnormality in the measurement of molecular mass of a solid. We also studied how Vanto factor adjusted the increase or decrease of the molecular mass of the solute and brought the true value. Right. Uh, uh, in the in that class, we derived the I to be like this. When the factor I is equal to total number of molecules after association or after association or dissociation by actual number of molecules taken so the vanto factor is you know the ratio of the total number of molecules after association and dissociation uh, by the actual number of molecules taken right so we will see how this vanto factor is related to degree of dissociation or association so now the case one association Okay, so in case of association, how to derive the relationship between I and you know uh, the alpha? We say uh, first thing is degree of association. What is this? So this is defined as the fraction of.
number of molecules are undergoing association, then you will get here 400 divided by this 2 is equal to 200 number of uh, you know associated molecules because each two molecules of X combine to give one molecule. Are you getting that? So uh, this 1000 minus 4000. This uh, that is uh, that means the 600 number of uh, molecules are present in free state, whereas these 200 molecules are present in associated state. Are you getting me now? So the total number of molecules will be 600 plus 200, 800. Though you have added 1000 molecules, you are getting now total 8000. This is the case of association. So similarly, this was the example, uh, you, you had added one mole out of which alpha mole is undergoing association. You are finding each n molecule of free A associating to give the whole, uh, that is to give one entity. So you will get one alpha by n mole of associated molecules. So what uh, that means we get next? This one minus alpha moles uh, of molecules are in free state and this in associated state. So one, this one was the actual number of molecules. Now the total number of molecules is equal to the, the molecules in free state, molecules in associated state. Now, after association is equal to 1 minus alpha plus alpha by n. But we have taken actual number of molecules this one. So now we can now apply this uh, uh, data into this formula to proceed. Okay. So now you put this data into that. So I is equal to what? So total moles after association is 1 minus alpha plus alpha by 1 minus alpha plus alpha by n by actual molecule, actual moles taken is 1. Right? So we are getting uh, I is equal to, okay, you take common 1 minus alpha into 1 minus 1 by n. 1 minus 1 by n by 1. So, you are getting now i is equal to i of sorry, 1 minus 1 minus uh, alpha into 1 minus 1 by n. Okay. So, so by solving you are getting, you take this, this side, so alpha into 1 minus 1 by n, take i to that side, 1 minus i. Implies, finally, we are getting your uh, alpha is equal to 1 minus i by uh, 1 minus 1 by n. Okay. So, further, we had already derived in the previous class. According to the molar mass of the solute, we can also write I normal molecular mass by observed molecular mass. Observed molecular mass. So this uh, two molecular mass we will write is equal to m normal by m observed. Are you getting that? So you see, now we are getting implies alpha is equal to uh, 1 minus uh, molecular mass in case of normal case by uh, what that is observed by m 1 minus 1 by n, 1 minus 1 by n. By simplifying it, we are getting alpha is equal to m observed minus m normal by m observed by n minus 1 by n. So final formula we are getting alpha is equal to n into n minus 1 into m observed minus m normal by m observed. So we 
can solve numericals according to this. Now, case 2, that means dissociation. So, uh, similarly, if degree of dissociation is to be defined, degree of dissociation is to be defined, uh, if this is alpha, then we can write the fraction of total number of free molecules which are undergoing dissociation. So, uh, it can be defined as a fraction of total number of undergoing dissociation. Okay, so you see, uh, we can write alpha is equal to uh, total number of molecules undergoing dissociation by total molecules again. You can write like this. But you see, I and alpha are different. I, Vanto factor, it's a very important thing. In Vanto factor, you are taking total number of molecules after association or dissociation. That means there you are adding the unassociated and associated moles or in case of dissociation, the undissociated or dissociated both are added and are placed at the numerator in case of I divided by actual molecules taken. But in uh, degree of dissociation or association, that quite different. You are only, uh, that means putting uh, the number of moles that are undergoing association or dissociation at the numerator divided by actual molecule taken. Keep it in your mind. Okay. So, a fraction of total number of moles undergoing dissociation uh, is the uh, degree of dissociation. So, accordingly, you will proceed to have a relationship between, uh, you know, Vanto factor and degree of dissociation. Okay, say uh, we have molecule uh, that means one mole of A is undergoing dissociation into several fragments like B plus D, B plus C plus D plus dot 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 and giving n number of species. And since from the equation one mole of A gives one mole of B, one mole of C, one mole of D and similar and so on. So, if we start with the actual number of moles as 1, if this will be the actual moles and if from this, uh, since we are saying degree of dissociation is fraction of total number of molecules, if out of this true number of moles, actual number of moles, if alpha moles are undergoing dissociation, that means 1 mole of A gives 1 mole of B means alpha mole of A. Dissociated means it will give alpha mole of B, alpha mole of C, alpha mole of D and so on. If n number of species are there, so alpha, 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 uh, total dissociated species will be n alpha and non dissociated species will be 1 minus alpha. So total number of moles, total moles after dissociation after dissociation will be 1 minus alpha plus n alpha 1 minus alpha plus n alpha so the total number of moles after dissociation will be 1 minus alpha plus n alpha is equal to 1 plus n minus 1 into alpha are you ready so this is and, and the actual molecule is taken inside. Sorry, what? So, this Vanto factor will be is equal to total number of moles after dissociation, that means 1 plus n minus 1 into alpha by 1. Similarly, I equal this much. So, we will have implies alpha is equal to i minus 1 i minus 1 by n minus alpha okay once again we knew i is equal to n normal by m object so putting this i we are getting like this i means m normal by m object minus 1 by n minus 1 so we get okay m normal minus 
minus m of charm by m of charm into 1 by n minus 1. So, this is the formula. Okay. So, final formula we are getting in this way. Secondly, let us solve a big curve. Shyam, you read the question. Question number 5. Salute is the phenomenon. Okay. How much of phenol is added? The weight of the solvent or that weight of the solute is 72.2 gram. To how much of solvent? So solvent W is equal to 1 kg. What happens on adding? So, the depression in freezing point is equal to 7 kg, right? Any other data? Depression, uh, molar depression constant is equal to 14. Kelvin kg for this phenol dimerizes. If phenol dimerizes, dimerizes means n is equal to 2. So, it is asking you to find the alpha. So it is quite easy to do. So you see, we have, uh, we will now start answering. Um, you have the formula, del Tf is equal to Kf into M dash. M dash is the molality. So del Tf is equal to Kf is equal to, uh, sorry, del Tf is equal to Kf into W by M of charm by W in kg. Molality, moles of solute or kg of the solvent. So this comes uh, down. So you are getting implies del Tf is equal to W by M observed into W kg in kg. Okay. So you see why this is observed molecular mass? Because we are we using the observed, uh, you know, uh, uh, colligative properties, depression and freezing point. So it is experimental means it is experimental observed molecular mass. So uh, putting this is seven given W seventy two point seven W one kg and you can now calculate this M observed can be calculated. Once you calculate this, you can now put into the formula alpha is equal to m of job minus m normal by m of job into n by n minus 1. Even you can now put this thing into the formula. Okay. So accordingly, you you um, but this M observed calculated, put here M observed, M normal is nothing but the molecular mass, M normal, okay, the mol normal true molecular mass is equal to 92, you can put this, so uh, put this 92, M observed this value, M observed again that value, N is equal to 2, put that and get up. That will give you in point. If you want to, you know, convert it into uh, your what um, uh, quotient is. Uh, so alpha that quotient is is equal to that fraction into quantity. That gives you some quotient. Are you getting enough? So in this way you can solve the numerical. Okay. Thank you. We'll discuss in the next class.